In an empty combinator, let's drag over the tool window and with all of these guys checked, you can pretty much see it right down the bottom here. The line mixer will drop that into the combinator. And then below that mixer, let's drop in a subtractor, which is automatically being connected and also named. And then below that, let's bring in an NNXT. Actually, let's scroll down a little bit here, NNXT. And then we'll drop a Thor. So check out what's happened. If we move up here, you can see all three of these devices have been placed in this line mixer within this combinator. And if we swing the rack around, we can see all of those connections that have been made. Check it out. Here we go. We have a subtractor in the first one. NNXT goes into the second guys. And then the third channel is being fed by the Thor. Then the output of this line mixer goes into from my devices in the combinator and then the combinator goes back up here. We swing this around and we were to play a note on the keyboard. We'll actually play all three devices and we can adjust the level of each of them right from here in this little sub mixer. So you can see how the Combinator is really a device that holds other devices inside it and allowing you to play more than one sound at a time. Pretty cool if you really want to play the sound of three patches playing at once. But let's explore how to massage these three elements so that we can have kind of a better result.